Hi, Taurus. All right, let's see what's going on for you, Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Messages for Taurus Spirit. You have Between Worlds. A change is coming. Chaos and Conflict. And happy, happy. Ooh, TikTok. So this tells me, though, there's some sort of shakeout or upset here with the chaos and conflict, but you don't seem to mind. It's a good chaos. It's, it's something that's changing. Maybe you're tired of being where you're at. Um, it could be even someone coming, like an ex coming back and, well, I don't know, maybe, maybe you don't want to argue with an ex. I don't know. It's some sort of chaos that you like. There's a change here, and you're happy about it. You're ready to move on. You're ready to make this change. Uh, show me between worlds for Taurus. Yeah, because it's like you maybe you can't decide or things have been upheaval. You want to you want to like you maybe you feel stuck or something or you're trying to decide. Maybe this chaos will help you decide what to do next. Show me change in the wind for Taurus, the past, the six of cups, and what is this chaos and conflict? The sun, maybe a Leo, but it's something that is good. It's a good change here, and because you're happy with the outcome. Four of Wands. Some of you might be thinking about moving. Maybe this this will give you some sort of um, idea of where to go. Some of you, maybe there's some place you want to go, but the weather, like there's uh, tornadoes or there's like very extreme weather there. And so as you realize that that's not, you know, where you want to go or whatever this is, you have stability because you go from this feeling unstable with the water behind you being all choppy to the four of wands feeling very stable. Someone could be coming back into your life, somebody that you do like, okay? A Leo energy here, but it doesn't have to be just because the sun's here. It could be anything. What is going on for Taurus? Oops, that just fell out perfect. Okay, camel. It says persevere and you will overcome problems. I feel like you've already done that, to be honest. <clears throat> I feel like I feel like it's saying like don't give up. The answer you need is coming. The decision. Yeah, happiness. You will be happy. Also, you have turkey. Someone is behaving stupidly. That could be the chaos, but I mean, it's a turkey. How bad can this be? Obviously, it's something that will cause possibly an argument, but maybe it'll shine light on something. So again, someone who's being stupid, maybe it gives you just the clarity you need to like quit a job, to leave something, or again, I kind of get like, it still doesn't mean you're going to leave the person just because they're being stupid. Okay, what else? I want them to fall out. Let's see if they will they fall out for Taurus. There we go. One more. And you have love. Wow. Okay. What is um, Taurus's advice? Letting go. So it says if someone leaves you confused more than comforted, you need to reassess their access to you. So again, you're going to be shown the way clearly about how someone treats you or acts or it's the chaos is going to be good. It's going to be like, yes, I needed that. So now I can like walk away, clean conscience. I'm not worried about it. I can quit that job. I can leave that situation. But also we have actions speak louder than words. So your reading is very crystal clear. Watch this, this turkey. Who is this person in your life? Who is being stupid? Because they're going to show you their true feelings. If they're not putting in the effort, if their actions are opposite of what they say, then you just know. They are not the one distance. So maybe you're going to distance yourself from this person. How funny. I was going to say distance yourself from this turkey. But um, okay. What is going on for Taurus? Some of you I get are having like a grandchild. Or you have one. Or you like spending time with them. Some of you again I get going someplace sunny. Or being someplace sunny and warm. Going to the beach. What is going on for Taurus? You have the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Coins, the Eight of Wands, you have the Eight of Coins, and you have the Four of Cups. Okay, interesting. Four of Cups, an offer, yep, of something new. Something you don't see coming. This, four, this fourth cup coming out of the sky is something that you don't see. You already have these other cups, and you just can't decide. And I just heard someone say, you know, if you can't decide, that means they're not the right decisions. Or like, if you're unsure, like, you haven't received the right offer yet. There is something new coming in for you. What is this Ten of Cups? Holding back, Two of Swords, we've got the Nine of Pentacles, and we have the Star card. In the hidden position is the Eight of Coins and the Star. There's something here working on, something you want to do that's meant for you that's on your path. The right opportunity or option is coming in because it's going to lead you to the Nine of Pentacles, which to me is, besides the Sun, the best card to me in the deck. 
because it makes me feel like you're in control of the decision. Even if it's a relationship with someone, it's like you feel like you have control, you're happy. There may be a relationship here with the Ten of Coins, Ten of Cups that you are leaving behind. There also might be an Aquarius. Show me what's going on. Let me go to a different deck for love. Can we new love for some of you? You have, ooh, that says reconnection, rebuild. Music, inspiration. Listen to the songs, really important, especially like if you're in a store and you hear it in the background, it'll be like what you're meant to hear. Um, your car, wait for the right moment, ask spirit to give you the song on the radio before you turn it on. Or, you know, um, music songs are, are going to give you the clues you need to um, know what to do. Some of you could be rebuilding a relationship. It says reconciliation, rebuilding with a certain person. We also have change and transition. Change is coming. Changes that are good also could be some legal matters or disputes. Again, each one is showing us there's some sort of chaos going on around you. It doesn't have to be a legal matter, but it's definitely, you know, the five of wands, but it looks like it's not that big a a deal or if it is it's going to be resolved very soon you also have unfinished business an unresolved situation and someone is single they're not in a relationship right now so someone wants to know is this person dating someone are they single they are single something is coming in coming back around it does not have to be reconciliation for everyone but it's definitely something that makes you happy it's definitely something that um, I get like freedom. So some of you are being freed from something, like I said, and or maybe someone else also is being freed from something, something so they can come towards you. Whatever this is in the hidden position, the eight of coins and the star card, two of cups, wow. This is working together, working on a relationship, a soulmate connection. Show me this full energy. What does Taurus need to know? The truth, the Ace of Swords. Finding out the truth, finding out good news. Three of Swords, someone is heartbroken. Someone feels weighed down. Someone is looking for something with the Three of Wands and the Seven of Swords. I am going to read this as a love situation now, definitely, because someone has been missing you and felt very like weighed down and lonely by the situation. Uh, what is the Seven of Swords here? Wanting to come see you. Chariot energy, seven swords, ch chariot, not telling people. Someone could be moving on and not telling people. It could be possibly a cancer energy person. What is this two of swords going back over here? Sad. Someone could have everything they want in the world, but they're just not happy without you. Um, they could already be in a connection, but again, they just, they miss you. Five of cups. Someone has been lying to themselves that they don't love you or that they don't miss you when they really, they do. This could also be the turkey energy because it showed me kind of like someone who's just being silly, being stupid. And if you know this person really misses you but they don't want to tell you or they don't want to admit it, then that's kind of being stupid. You know what I mean? So it could just be a, a minor argument, but it's bringing in happiness for you. So you got happiness and happy, happy. You know what's weird? Well, it's not weird. I just feel like so much relief from your reading. Like I just see this like you just like... Like, I'm just happy again. I know this is where I'm supposed to be. I know this isn't working out for me. I just, that's what the tarot, everything shows me here. I feel this sigh of relief and this like freedom from something. So what does Taurus need to know? You have the true love card. This is true love and a soulmate. Wow. What nice energy. I just feel like someone's going to come in and tell you like, you are my soulmate. I love you. I miss you. And we're meant to be together, meant to work on this. This could be someone you work with possibly in the hidden position, but it um, doesn't need to be. Eight of coins, star card, two of cups. Something that you're doing also could lead you to this person. And again, there's some sort of resolve. There's some sort of knowing this coming week. Like this is what I'm supposed to be doing. This opportunity, four of cups, full ace of swords. Some of you are telling people, I'm done. I'm out of here. I'm unhappy. I don't want to be here anymore. I'm moving. I'm getting a job. I'm doing something different. There's change. It feels like someone coming towards you though. Um, let's see if they want to say something just because for some of you, I do feel like this is someone coming back, but let's see, what would they say to Taurus? I want to make things right. Yeah. 
I want a future with you. I let people manipulate me into ghosting you. That was the turkey energy. Wow. I can't, I can't go another day without you. And your energy is so intoxicating. It's just pulling me in towards someone is head over heels for you. This is like really love. This is genuine love here. And someone's going to say these things to you. Someone is just unhappy where they're at. All right. Um, what does Taurus... Let me go to this deck for you. What does Taurus need to know? I got the name Paul. When I was pulling these cards, I got also a name like Troy. Yeah. Or it could, it could be something similar. Croy or Troy. Or... Playfulness. Have fun. Change. Things could be getting easier for you. Okay, so, all right, Taurus, I think I'm going to leave it there, you guys. Have a great week.